Pocahontas was a cultural diplomat. She spoke many different languages. She was a woman who lived in many different worlds. She has captured the imagination for all people, for Native people, for non-Native people. She's probably the most kind of recognizable Native person in history. This piece is a beautiful jewelry set that depicts Pocahontas in many different forms. And it includes this beautiful elaborate ring, a pendant, and two earrings. Carrie Atumbi and Jamie Okuma, they came together to understand what they wanted to do as a collaborative piece that spoke to them in terms of their own relationship to being native in the world and their own sense of being ambassadors like Pocahontas was. What Jamie did is she pulled from three really important portraits. The first was the Simone von Pass engraving. That's on the front of the ring. But what is so remarkable about it is that it's painted on brain tan buckskin with unbelievably small beads, with gold beads, with black gold beads, with antique beads. And it's made to look like a perfect duplication of this particular portrait. On the back of the ring is a very intimate portrait um, from the 1750s, a Sedgeford Hall painting, where it shows Pocahontas in more of her motherly role. They purposely put it on the back of the ring so that it's connected to the wearer and it's not available for all audiences to see. We do not have any contemporary jewelry made by contemporary Native women artists, so this adds a special kind of moment to the collection. And it allows us to expand Native art more generally. It makes us re-examine the very way we think about what Native art is. Here are two Native women artists who are at the height of their career. They're doing some of the best work that they've ever done. And they're using things like exotic materials that we don't necessarily associate with Native people, gold and diamonds. But they use it in a way that is fully informed by the traditional kind of properties that they learned indigenously.